All right, today we are talking about five simple tips, five simple steps that you can take to get more views to your eBay listings. All right, so you've heard some of these before. We're going to harp on them again. Hopefully, I'm going to bring you maybe a little bit, just a little bit tweak it, a tweak or a little bit extra to these uh, to these five little tips here. Okay, so five simple tips to do, to work on. Number one, by the way, welcome to my uh, JBNet Marketplace eBay store. And uh, we're going to kind of use some of my uh, listings to uh, show you what we're talking about here. Good, bad, or indifferent. So number one is going to always be, number one is always going to be titles. All right. So we're going to come down here and we're going to go get into the store. Let's just go ahead and go into activewear category. Just gonna, oh, I've got myself in edit mode. Hang on. Sorry about that. We'll try one more time here. Come on, load it up. Computer's moving slow today. All right, so here's the example I want to use. ACDC hooded sweatshirt, uh, men's medium, black ice, full zip rock music band. Uh, the black ice. I'm gonna have to look and see what that is right off the right off the bat. I don't know why that's a keyword uh, in this title. But the main point I wanted to bring out here is that the first four to five words in your title are what you are going to make sure that you have good solid keywords for. You're gonna tell them what it is. Possibly you're gonna have the brand in there. In this case, I didn't have the brand of the sweatshirt. I've got the brand of the the concert band or the rock band. ACDC hooded sweatshirt. Uh, this has been listed for a while, since August 18, 2022, when it originally got listed. So it's been sitting around for six months. We've already got into the winter. Uh, nobody's bought this hooded sweatshirt, even though it's got a nice ACDC logo uh, band, you know, print on it. Oh, black ice. There's the black ice. That's what's in the graphic. However, it's a men's medium, and maybe I've got it priced out a little bit uh, too high. I do know that I've got a couple of watchers on this. I do get a few views on it. Uh, so maybe they need a little price bump to go ahead and uh, uh, purchase this particular sweatshirt. So re just remember when you're doing your titles, and people are going to harp on this all the time, make sure the first four to five words are what it is and are uh, sp 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 <coughs> sp yeah, I can't say it's specific to the item that you're talking about. You don't want to throw in a bunch of stuff like like new or... Uh, super clean or stuff like that. Save those words, save that verbiage for down in your description area. You want to make sure people are going to find an item if they are looking for it. And that brings us to number two, listing new items consistently. Number two, listing two items consistently. Uh, listing two items. Number two, listing new items consistently. Uh, you want to make sure that you're doing, you know, uh, as much Monday through Friday as you can. I know everybody has super busy schedules. You've got family, you've got work, you've got social responsibilities. I get it. But if you can put in, you know, a couple of listings every day, five listings every day, ten listings every day, Monday through Friday, keep the consistency up, then you are going to bring more views to your uh, eBay is going to realize that that consistency is going on. The, the SEO, the algorithms are going to pick up on that, and they're going to uh, know that there's new items that, that they can push out. Now, here comes number three. Number three. Can I do it? Three. One, two, three. Let's see if I can do this right. Um, hot items. High sell-through rate. Items that people are actually searching for. This item has been listed since August. Maybe nobody's looking for an ACDC hooded sweatshirt. Maybe it's because it's a medium instead of a, a large or an extra large. Maybe that would have helped itself. Maybe I'm overpriced on it. Did I research this particular sweatshirt and find out if it has a good sell-through rate? Well, let's just go ahead and do that right now. Let's take my title. Um, men's medium hooded sweatshirt, ACDC. And let's go up here. And hit enter. By the way, if you when you're listing, if you want to save a bunch of time listing, this is what you need to do first. Okay. So there's my sweatshirt it showed up because I'm logged in, and, and of course they're going to uh, show that and put it out there. So we've got some ACDC sweatshirts going on here. That's all cool. How many are actually listed? 82 results that uh, met those keywords. Some of those are not ACDC, but there are sweatshirts or hooded sweatshirts. Now we want to come down here. We've got 82 listed. 
How many are sold? How many have sold? Ten. Okay, so only ten. And what's the price range that they're selling in? Twenty-five. There's one for seven eighty, so it's up and down, eleven seventy two, twelve bucks. So more than likely I've got mine probably priced a little bit too high. Uh I should probably be down in the twelve to fifteen dollar range uh to get that to get that one sold. And also I'm looking at it sell through rate. Eighty two listed, only ten have sold. Yeah, it's not that's not a great sell through rate, but it's not terrible as well. So make sure when you're picking up an item that you're checking the sell through rates to see are they even selling, okay? And if there's a bunch of them listed, more likely the views are way down, the traffic's way down on it because nobody's looking for that, okay? Uh, or it's just so many, it's just you know so many out there that um, it's just going to hurt you. You're just going to get lost in the mix of stuff that's going on. All right, so number four. Finish building out your store. What do I mean by that? We're going to go back over here to the store. We're going to go to manage my store. If you have a store, if you haven't put a store together yet, then that's something down the road for you. But you want to make sure that you've got at least at least seven of the eight tasks completed. Those tasks, store name, store logo, billboard, uh, description, featured listings, featured categories, uh, other essentials marketing banner okay that's what this that's your banner up here and then store video is the one piece that I don't have done as much as I like to do videos I should probably do that uh, but I think you'll probably find a lot of sellers out there that don't have the video um, it's it's just a little bit on the difficult side depending on what you're doing <laughs> to describe your store and make it sound all as well as you can at some point in time maybe i'll hire somebody i'll go over to fiverr and say say hey do a store video for me here's you know do, go to the fiverr and do the 20 20 buck one or whatever to get a uh to get a video made about your store and throw that in there but that just helps the ebay algorithm having all that stuff done to help recommend your store to viewers and visitors coming into ebay looking for items that you may have in, in the store that they are looking for all right Number five, last but not least, and I'll just go ahead and get out of here. Come up here. Last but not least will be social media. Excuse the mess behind me. I'm still working on cleaning this office up. We have made some changes to it. If you watch any of my videos regularly, you may see some uh, different uh, things going up on the walls and stuff like that. Social media. YouTube. We're on it. We're doing it. Okay. Uh, Facebook. Let people know what you do. All right. You've got like five places in your Facebook profile your Facebook page that you could put links back to your eBay store. Did you know that? All right. I will try to have, I'll check on it. I will try to have a training available. I think it'll cost $1. Okay. I don't have it right now, uh, but I will try to have a training available. Maybe by the time you see this video or somebody else down the road or come back, if you check this video out again, come back and check down in the description areas where it would be. Uh, but it tells you uh, for Facebook, how to set your Facebook up for business and not be, you know, spamming and, and just blowing smoke up at everybody about what it is that you do. It's just going to be there. This is what I do. This is my bio. This is my intro. This is my uh, who we are. And this is what business we have. And, and that doesn't include a group or a Facebook page. It's just your Facebook profile. Okay. Um, really cool, really cool little training available there. So we'll, we'll try to get that out to you. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to my email list because I will send that once I have it available again I will send that back out on email for you and you'll be able to do that there are a couple of links down in the description area one is for a free store review and I will uh, do that as quickly as possible for you and just helps put another set of eyes onto the stuff you have and sometimes it's a win-win situation that I may look at your stuff and go Wow, why wasn't I doing that? So, hey, you never know how that's going to roll. But that link's down there, and there's another link there. Either one will get you onto our newsletter, and uh, the other one is to help learn how to make your first $100 uh, selling on eBay. So if you're brand new, thinking about selling on eBay, or you've done a few here or there, you know, listings here or there, but you're really not sure how to get it rolling, that is the, uh, the one that you'll want to click into because you're going to get some extra uh, email information that's going to help you with that. All right, so all that said, titles, listing consistently every day, listing hot ticket items, what are the sell-through rates, uh, finish building out your store if you have a store, and five is social media, learn how to let people know what you do, and it's, 
It could be views coming to your store, number one, they could be shopping from you uh, for sure. And number two, you may open up some new opportunities for sourcing uh, with some with people out there on in Facebook land, and you never know what you're going to come up with. You may get some great stuff at a great price or even donate it. So lots of opportunities to get more views to your store. All right, we're going to get out of here. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to check out those links down below so that you can be on our newsletter. And number two, make sure if you like this kind of content that you subscribe to the channel. We're pushing really hard uh, to get over that 1,000 uh, subscriber hump and uh, get, get go climbing up the mountain so we can go rolling down the other side and have a lot of fun. So happy selling. Make sure to subscribe for more fun and profits. Talk to you soon.